Spin it. Spin it. Ooh. Here's what I'll do, chat. It says slay the spire A5, but we hit our we hit our goal tonight of beating one of these games, uh, one of the runs. I think Dead Cells, uh, not only did we get a little lucky, but uh, I also think I just am better at that game than I thought I was on zero boss cells. So I'm just going to play a normal run of Slay the Spire. All my characters right now are at Ascension 9. Um, and yeah, I could I could run a poll for it, sure. Um, where's my poll website? What is it not connected? Hello? We're connected. Boom. Which character? Other than Watcher. Haha, uh -huh, sorry. Let's pick some BS. There isn't there isn't really. They're all good. Uh Silent. Defect. No, yeah, I don't have Ascension 9 on Watcher. And I, I never play Watcher. Boom. Here's your poll. It's on your screen right now. Bottom left. And I'm going to go fill up my water because it's empty. <laughs> Huge defect sweep. With a whole four votes. <laughs> is anyone else voting? Or <laughs> is four votes what I'm getting? Going once, going twice. You wanted the goop? I respect that. Defect. The people demand it. Ascension 9. Embark. Game gonna come up. Just wanna prove. There we go. <sighs> Can't see. I know. It takes a second. <laughs> uh I don't like any of these paths. Here's what we'll do, I think. Take some events, take some combats. Take this elite, go to this fire, go to this store. Take this elite if we're feeling good. Um, Upgrade a card. You could upgrade the dual cast. Yeah, dude, better Twitch TV has like stopped working on my uh, on my OBS overlay. Insane value out of that dual cast there. <laughs> Upgrade, I should say. I can kill you. I can kill you. See, I'm using my brain. I'm capable of it. Huh. All of these cards would be quite speculative, although damage is good. Let's just take rebound. Mm, we could rebound the zap and get some... Get some silly lightning going here. White noise is fun, yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with that. This is a lethal moment. You know what? Upgrading upgrading the uh dual cast at uh Niao is pretty nice. I like that. I don't think I've ever done that before. It's probably gonna be Hades 2 news at the game awards. Hell yeah. Wait, that's this week, right? Or is it next week? Because I put it on the schedule for this week. But I'm like, wait. Oh, it's next week, bro. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. It's on the schedule for this week on my stream, but I'm, I'm just, I'm wrong. I'm just incorrect. 
God damn it, I thought it was this week. Shit. Uh, I like a hologram. Well, I don't know what I'm doing on Thursday then. Shit. I just drink that and then take a speed potion. <laughs> Lies of D. Back left after hand fight for a snack. After the first hand fight or the second hand fight? Uh, okay. Actually, rebounding the dual cast would do nothing. Get a hologram a strike, but why? But why would we? But why would we? Maybe we get... Maybe we... we Actually, we should draw our zap, because we haven't drawn it yet. Hand of the King, I mean? Uh, I did fight Hand of the King twice. <laughs> so, I assume you mean the first fight, because you seem... Uh, you seem to not know that I fought it twice. Oh, the second one. Oh, so you just left. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do like fission. But I think I like a defrag more. Love to upgrade it too. With this fire. Hologram for the full block here. It's nothing I really get any value out of actually hologramming. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just for funny. Yeah, dude, I hate Red Slaver. All my homies hate Red Slaver. Here, here's, a, here's a bit of a hot take. Slavery wasn't good. Not a good thing. Just gonna say it, you know? Not enough people on this website been saying it. Slavery? Not cool. I don't think I'm getting, like, any value out of that defrag. Actually, no, that's a lie, because I killed this turn. I think I might have killed anyways, but... Lock on? Or weak. I think lock on for Act One uh, elites. Since we're taking on a few of them, it's good against two of the three. Upgrade that defrag. Now we're talking. Not what I wanted to see. Ooh, I could have rebounded that actually. I think I would just rather rebound the dual cast. Ooh. If I played that different, I maybe could have killed that turn. This is a bummer. Nah, I can just hologram a strike. This is why we love hologram. Actually, upgrading Hologram could be nice, too. Let's do that. Especially with these elite fights coming up. Having that not exhaust. Two more upgrades. Take it. Weirdly, this is who I hope to see. You take the Cultist, but who's the boss here? Hexaghost? I think I'd prefer to have the Cultist potion for Hexaghost. Whetstone on defect? Why? What's the problem? 
Seems fine. Is there stuff I'd rather see? Sure. I'm not, like, unhappy to get two upgrades. Kind of a bummer that one of them was a strike, but... Here's the trouble. Oh, I really want to play that dual cast, too. Fuck it, I will. 20 damage. I take 12 in return. I hope I can kill this turn. With a hologram and a dual cast, I sure can. Beautiful. Probably go for the eyes plus for Hexa. I think I want to hit that shop. This is a this is atrocious. Um Zap. I can dual cast. I can hologram. I can dual cast. I can defend. This is a claw deck in the making, right? And I do have a bit of a claw addiction, I won't lie. It's probably part of the reason I'm not very good at defect. I thought I was an egg and bacon. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't really look closely at the card art most of the time. And uh, there have been times when I have been surprised at what it actually depicts. I don't really have orbs going. So compile driver is a bit of a weird take here. Actually, auto shields could be fine. It's a lot of block, and I don't have any other block generating things. Loop could be nice too. It's pretty good with defrag and lock on. Let's take loop. Would not kill me to get some frost in here. No frost. Other than the frozen egg, which is not exactly what I meant. Membership card. Could go crazy. In fact, I think it does. Because look at how cheap these cards are now. I like a self-repair. This could just be a lock-on deck. <laughs> Love to get more lightning going. Beam cell doesn't hurt either. Of the strike. I don't hate it. Not what I wanted to see. He's gonna artifact that, which kinda blows. As does everything about this turn. Uh, actually, taking damage is fine, because it's Hexaghost. I just don't want to take too much damage. <laughs> uh, I can play this whole hand. So that's nice. We full block one hit, that's fine. Okay. Defragment. Hmm, I think I want to play more cards than I'm capable of this turn. Hologram the zap. I can't both defrag and bullseye.
might not have been the right choice. You're just dead. Should have rebounded something. I wasn't even thinking. Fortunate. Taking 10 unblocked. That's what I get for not thinking. Turns out that thinking is rather valuable in this game. I will be all powerful as soon as I have a seek. <laughs> uh, guess I can still hologram, go for the eyes, and just burn his artifact. You're dead. Okay. It wasn't. Considering how poorly suited this deck was for that fight, uh, it ended up not bad. I think a skim goes kind of crazy. Nah, the claw deck was right there. Bro, I don't have a single claw. <laughs> yeah, I got it. You're right, I got everything else. Just not the claws. <laughs> um... Just get hella turns of lock on going here. Yep. Oh yeah, I should have taken this. I wanted to. I don't know if this deck is going to kill fast enough, so I'm going to take the block potion. I think we get good value out of loop. Poggers, with energy to spare. Defrag, lock on, dual cast. And then just defend a decent amount of that hit. Not all of it, unfortunately. Uh, this is going better than anticipated. I think I just want as much block as possible here. Okay. Not feeling too bad. Not feeling too bad at all. I don't know why I'm blocking. Sometimes I just play cards because I can play cards. It probably gets me in trouble when I have things like ice cream. Or when I'm against some someone like Time Eater. However, uh, I will just be sticking to my bad habits. Okay? There we go. Eh, I mean, I guess I could take machine learning. What's the like? Rainbow is such a is such a valuable card, especially upgraded. But Rainbow is going to be pretty much my only orb generation. Yeah, and taking a Meteor Strike would be awfully, um, <laughs> awfully presumptuous. Just put it that way. I think I'm just going to be really boring and take Machine Learning. No Sneko. Honestly, pretty dog shit. I could just remove those last two strikes. And then we have a nice, lean, and effective, but not really awe-inspiring deck. Frozen Core is good, but it replaces Cracked Core, and 
with all this lock on, I don't want to get rid of one of my sources of lightning orbs. Like, the fact that I couldn't dual cast turn one would be crippling. Especially if I need to for damage. So I think I just go empty cage. Which sucks, but like, I don't know. I mean, at least we've thinned out the deck a lot. <laughs> which, uh, yeah, I, I don't know about this. But, um, what do we want to do here? We, there is no path where we get a fire before an elite, so we probably want to hit this one, and then we have an option of hitting a second one. We hit a store, too, which is good, with our membership card. Let's just take lots of events. Defrag, bullseye, bullseye, just burn that shit! Baseball. I fucking hate this guy. The only thing I could reasonably hologram for any value is... Dual cast. Actually, I shouldn't even say value. It's the only thing I could play. <laughs> Which is not great. Oh, I should have beam sold first. I didn't even see that there. And actually, rebounding that would have been nice. Although we can kill. We can just kill. <laughs> Sometimes I get so in my head about strategy that I forget that I can just kill. Cool head it is orb generation. It's sort of going to just generate me fairly worthless frost orbs. And I don't really need card draw. After that fight, Melter's looking fairly appealing. <laughs> um, This deck is so lean, I'm not sure there is anything that I could reasonably remove. Like, I, do I have any dead weight cards in this, in this deck? I feel like I don't. <laughs> like, everything kind of serves a purpose. Um... Uh, one of the strikes is already upgraded, but upgrading all my defense would be kind of nice. Okay. That's maybe the weirdest decision I've ever had to make uh, on that. Um, do I take this? I get no value from Necronomicon here. Whatever. Okay. This card kind of just annoys me. But the last time I had it, I won, so... That's worth considering, I suppose. It's gonna be a big damage turn. Actually, consume is pretty good for this. I would love to just have a consume. Take a seek. What would I want to do here? Probably don't need machine learning. Actually, just seeking a self repair doesn't sound too bad. Um, no, we should do damage, I think. Get Seek, Rebound, Charge, Battery? Like, I just, I don't even think I want to take another Dazed here. Buffer? Buffer could be useful. Why not? Um, this sucks because we don't just kill this turn. We did get the self-repair off, though. 
Oh, that's lethal because of the... Right, because of the loop. Or, I'm sorry, because of the orb. Not because of the loop. <laughs> that brain. Right, orbs are a thing I have. You don't just play attacks on this character. Oh, well, force field won't be too hard to get into play. No curses. All right, whatever. I'm not exactly going for heart kills here, so I may as well take it. I can full block this. Do I just... Maybe I just take that. I have a block potion, too. Yeah, this sucks. That is not what I wanted to see. Not dead. <laughs> Not dead is a good way to be. Terrible time to draw aggregate, though. You're right. Not dead yet. Still not dead yet. Why would I do that? Why am I even considering playing that? It doesn't do anything for us. <laughs> I don't know if I will ever be playing Tempest, but... If a free force field... Okay, now! Actually, yep. That Tempest pick is starting to look pretty smart. We just want to block for everything we're worth. Just play the force field again for funny. <laughs> then channel five lightning. And we kill. Uh, it doesn't even matter. We kill. <laughs> Woo! Okay. All right. Nilri's coming in clutch here. Uh, like I know that I know that a uh, relic is not bad. Just in my head, I'm like I'm like I have my deck, and my deck is my deck. Like, I don't want to add cards to it every single turn. But you know what? You get to pick the cards, so it's kind of on you if the, if it sucks. Um, God, do I even want to try and take on this one? Like, all of the elite options kind of fucking suck. I'm going to get two relics anyways, so. I don't know, dude. What is this shop? <laughs> Maybe static discharge is actually okay on this. <laughs> Cold snap is consistent frost. That's true, and with the defrag, we'll get actually pretty good block out of it. I actually kind of like Static Discharge here, too. Um, fortunately, it means sort of giving up control over when our Frost evokes. I'm just going to do something a little silly here and just grab all of those. <laughs> I guess at this point we could take a stack, too. Especially with all the, like, deck manipulation we have. Is there anything I can remove? I mean, at this point... We get a little goofy and just take a whole bunch of cards. <laughs> I mean, I'd remove the zap at some point, but it's one of the only ways that we can directly uh, channel lightning. So. 
Boot. Boot for good luck. Actually, a block potion. Maybe even a speed potion. It's already a big-ass deck. Well, that is what happens when you take cards, it turns out. Dreamcatcher, just for more cards. Okay, pen nib. I mean, pen nib is cool. I don't think I'm doing this elite. It's like an upgraded charge battery. Melter gonna put in work here. We can even play the force field. I'm gonna kill you first, though. Yeah, this fight sucks. Lol. <laughs> Just play the four cost force field. <coughs> <coughs> oh! Okay. This sucks. I don't want to waste that block potion yet. And a meteor strike. The meteor strike is possibly playable. If we draw it with that aggr aggregate, very possible. Okay. What are we doing here? You're about to get stronger. Plus... Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay. I can still lock on you. Block most of that. We could not, it turns out, play the Meteor Strike. In fact, this is a pretty rough hand. <laughs> Not a lot going for it. Uh, I think we charge battery streamline chaos. I don't like what's happening here. At least I'm full blocking this turn. Taking a lot of high cost cards. Knowing full well that I don't have the energy to play them. If I play this consume, I lose one of these frost orbs. So I don't want to do that. I think I just want to play a block. Defrag. Ah, but what about second glacier? <laughs> Why not? You know what? Why not? This is actually just maximum chaos here. And I should have done those in the opposite order. I even thought about it too, and then proceeded to do the wrong thing. Hehehehe. <laughs> There's the claw that we didn't get forever ago. It could still be useful, right? I mean... It is now a bigger deck. Get beamed, scrub. Yeah, dude. That felt good. Um, in a deck that fat? Yeah, but also with... Yeah, I mean, honestly... Probably true. This might just be a skip. The like the only thing that really piques my interest here is the unupgraded charge battery. I already have a upgraded charge battery, so no. 
So much of this deck is upgraded that I think at this point I would unironically take a fusion hammer. No. God, another just like terrible act two combat. <laughs> Uh, block potion full blocks this turn. Do I care that much though? Like what? What's up ahead? We have fire. Yeah, I do care that much. I think I need health for this fight. It's not even about what's coming up. I need health for this fight. Of course, they both hit the fucking cultist. Or the Chosen. Sorry, the Cultist is this guy. I can streamline hologram streamline. Ooh. Wait, I can risk it. I can risk hitting this guy, right? Because I can play loop. And we have two shots at hitting this guy. And I can charge battery and I'll full block the hit anyways. Like, the only real risk is if I draw no attacks next turn. And even then, the lightning could still snipe him. That is kind of what happened, however. <laughs> Just glacier static, I guess. Stain barrier. Nope. Yeah, multicast actually could have been worth it. I hate this, but needs to be done. Well, a, a force field. Wait, is the force field entering my deck at one cost? That's insanity. This blows. <laughs> You're dead. Cool. Oh boy, um, I don't know, dude. I have so many powers. I don't think the white noise is worth it. Compile driver could be decent, I guess. I feel like I'm just taking too many cards, but th this deck doesn't have an identity. That's the problem. I need to take cards. Preserved insect sounds like good. For Act 3. <laughs> there is the Prismatic Shard. Yeah, that's what I want. Is to take more cards. And especially cards that have no guarantee of synergizing with my deck that already doesn't really synergize with itself. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I can't wait to get some Watcher cards in here. Yeah, bro. I'm taking insect. I think it's my best odds of uh of surviving here. Kinda like Electro for this fight, actually. Fuck you. Fuck you, Baltimore. Take the thorns too. Boop. 
Buffer sounds fantastic for this fight. I'm taking a lot of damage this turn. Wonderful. It's going to hurt me to not play the streamline, but... Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Lock on to you. Uh, it, like, shouldn't be funny, but it's very satisfying when, uh... When Electrodynamics just starts laying waste to, you know, everything. Very satisfying. Just any anything that evokes orbs gets us through this, uh, this combat. Yeah, here comes the debuff. But he's summoning, so we at least get one turn. No attacks. And doing whatever we want. We can apply weak to him. We can... Cold Snap. We can... Dual Cast. And live to zap again. Yeah, I don't hit, like him resummoning right before he... Man, Buffer is... Uh... Is great here. Or it would be, but it's going to buffer this. So I think we buffer block? No, it doesn't get us there. Shit. There is no real situation where I'm not just taking a lot of damage here. Uh, these evoke for seven. So maybe I could rainbow and then block? I think either way it's... Storm and then buffer? Oh yeah, well... No, it doesn't work either. I'm getting hit by this either way, so I'm gonna save the buffer. I'm gonna rainbow and then defend, I think. That, that defends for the most. It still sucks, but... Really sucks. Yeah, this is actually the least AIDS uh, Act 2 boss. You are correct. Fortunately, that don't mean shit. Please, please tell me the lightning snipes him. I think I'm dead, right? Not if the lightning snipes this guy. Do I want to... No, I don't want to... Leave that up to fate. <laughs> I, I don't want to... I don't want to leave that up to fate. Oh, electrodynamics! Oh, right. Well, it, it didn't matter anyways. The result was roughly the same either way. Unless I can kill this turn, uh... I think a buffer. Just a preemptive buffer is the play here. You buffer, bullseye. Go for the eyes. Oh. Deck is already fucking massive and bloated as it is. Oh, he's resummoning. Okay. Wow, I don't know that I've ever had a double resummon collector fight in my life. Melter is huge here. And I'm honestly just going to hologram the chaos so I can get that lightning in the first spot. We're <laughs> it's fine. It's 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 so fi I'm fine, guys. I'm totally fine. Thank God. 
<laughs> I was like, in before I draw zero attacks. Uh, I get we have these two cards, so I guess we just take a multicast. <sighs> Sneko doesn't totally suck here. It's not amazing, but it's takeable, I think. The thing is, though, I don't- where am I getting the energy to play these cards? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> if, like, this is still- need I remind you all, this is still a three energy deck. Okay, this isn't a horrible act three. Other than what lies at the very end, <laughs> which is going to be miserable. Uh, I think what I want for sure is to hit this shop and buy some potions. Because, uh, it's going to be very tough to get through Awakened 1. Phase 1. With all these powers that I have. I would be down to maybe hit this elite, too. That's gross. Um, but the aggregate still provides positive energy. Which I need. Charge battery's free. A three cost streamline kind of blows, but... Hmm. Rainbow. Sure. And the rainbow was increased in cost. You love to see it. What a fun game. <laughs> Just put something zero cost back in my hand. In fact, why not? And I got nothing zero cost in return. <laughs> this is a little better. A little. Emphasis on a little. What do I even want to rebound here? Maybe Cold Snap? This is a pen nib turn. Which I honestly forgot I had. The lack of block... ...sucks. Can I kill? Uh... Multicast for three? Yeah, that kills. Oh yeah, I had lock on too. Makes it even better. Love me a darkness plus. Too bad I have no dark. Um, this is a skip. <laughs> Sorry, this is a skip. I want that gold. I want that gold, but red mask do be looking kind of nice. Taking less damage on what is effectively my setup turn. I have membership card and there is gold making potential between here and the store. Let's take it. Yep, I think we're fine. I just had to reason through it. I mean, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> I was really thinking about that, but, like, it's free. Yeah, the spikers are something that I, uh, definitely have, um, in the past... <laughs> Not given the respect they're due. Just take another rainbow, I guess. Uh, 
Electro, pretty good here. Especially just to chip that spiker down faster. Hmm, I guess I could... Well, I don't think I want to do that, actually. <laughs> here I am thinking, oh, I'll just, uh... I'll just rebound the, uh... I don't know why I took Core Surge, really. I'll just rebound the Melter, but I don't want to hit this guy and take damage. It's over. <laughs> Didn't even have to wait that long. Uh, another hologram would be nice, but I'd really like if it was a hologram plus. And I don't think I'm going to be able to upgrade it. Yeah, maybe I will, but I have other stuff I need to upgrade. Let's just take these combats. This is not ideal. But it's not the worst ever. I like taking rainbow. <laughs> Head to that question, it's mind bloom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to hit this elite though. I bought preserved insect for a reason. Uh, God damn it if I'm going to use it. Aggregate is so free. Or aggregate, I suppose it is. Save that free skim for last. It's a pen nib turn too, baby. See you, hyena. That is the last run of the night anyways. It is going a little longer than I thought. You know what's weird is I was stuck on, uh... I was stuck on, uh... A, uh, Ascension 8, or I guess I was stuck on Ascension 7 defect for a long time. But now I just feel like I'm... It's, it might sound crazy, but maybe I've just gotten better at playing the character. Nah, I couldn't be that. <laughs> I, d I actually don't know if I'll, I'll win. I think it's unlikely, even, with the uh, Awakened one at the end. This could have been a mistake. It was a mistake. Hope you stay the same and rot as a player. Thanks. Me too. <laughs> uh, I mean... Bias Cog has almost no downside in this fight since it is on a timer. I just have to choose which powers to play. Yeah, that is true. Uh, this is a default cost rainbow. That's kind of yucky. Wish I had like really anything energy generating this turn. Are you trying to say doing something more makes you better at it? Yes. Not only that, but doing something with the mindset of getting better at it, too. Yeah, this has recently become a Sneko run. I think applying weak couldn't hurt, right? In fact, it could help quite a lot. Uh, I could actually use the Potion of Capacity and just we get a little more damage out of it. We still take a lot. This is, uh, this has been a tough fight. This was not what I wanted to see. Uh, I think Sunder Streamline Cold Snap solves this, though. Just about. I think we're taking nothing here. We're taking one here. <laughs> that was yucky. I didn't like that.
Yeah, man, that cool headed wouldn't have hurt. I actually am no longer sure I want to go for this elite. <laughs> Let me go for that elite at the end. Okay. Two normalities is b b rough, though. This was literally the question mark that you said. Two normalities is really rough. Oh, Omomori! That's right. So I get one. No, I don't. Apparently, I don't. That counts as... Wow, that... Okay. Insane. Honestly insane. Uh, I'm definitely healing. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good hand. Well, I hate this bozo, though. You did indeed call that. Um, bollocks. If I dual cast... Is it playing an attack that... Okay, upon receiving attack damage, gains 5 block. Does this count as attack damage? <laughs> bollocks. It does not. Cool. Sure, we'll take creative AI. Okay, we do now need to hit him. And we sort of lack the means to do so. Oh. I can just do this. Actually, wait, no, I have... Uh, wh where is it? Oh, Omomori's used up. Well, I'm using this then. Artifact potion works against this, right? Just to be sure. It doesn't protect you? Shit. That's really stupid then. Whatever. That's a bummer, but, uh, okay. <clears throat> I can remove it anyways. I mean, was it three max HP? It's not exactly a huge deal. Three costs go for the eyes is gross. I am not doing damage to this dude fast enough. Um... Do I, the question is, do I want to hit him again? I don't think I do. That works. This is a really bad deck to have made it this far. You know? better. That sucks. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. And that does not count. Okay, cool. Time to take a good bit of damage. <laughs> I hate this fight so much. Yeah, that was mostly blocked. And why do I hate this fight, chat? Because it makes me think. And I don't like things that make me think. I'm allergic to them, in fact. Just... Just have zero damage in this deck. <laughs> Awakened One is gonna take an eternity.
You could skim for free. Is the lethal damage here somewhere? <laughs> I am honestly not sure. And we have no damage in our discard pile for hologram to help us with. This has been a bit of a tough snack out here. I guess I could skim again. Got a strike. Dude, the dog is freaking out. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. There's, there's just no reason to even hit him. Melter might get, might get me there? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. This is alright, because I... Jesus, what a fucking shit. Ah. <laughs> uh... I have to hit. And now I can't play any cards. Nice. <laughs> At least that did it. Man, I'm not sure I like the random cost streamlines. Like, theoretically, they should get cheaper. That has not exactly been my experience, though. Shop is about to go crazy, I hope. I hope. Art of War is good. Little too late for a genetic algorithm here. I think I actually just buy the whole supply of potions here. I think I rate the dex potion a little more highly than the strength potion. Does Enlightenment override Sneko? I think Madness does. Was there another store higher up? There was not. Not that I can reach at this point, at least. Yeah, the thing is, Enlightenment's cost gets random too. But it could be okay. Um... Get rid of the Parasite. What am I going to do with that 3 HP anyways? Question mark, yeah. I believe. Heat Sinks could be... Well, it's Heat Sinks going into Awakened One, though, right? Like, it's not worth it. it I think I would pick that in, under any other circumstance. <laughs> with how many powers I have. Or draw is always a good thing. Yeah, sure. Wow. How, how do you keep calling this shit? I'm, I'm I in the orrery. The thing is, this deck is huge. The thing is, this deck is absolutely massive. Being able to look at five cards is kind of huge. Like for seventy three, I could literally just take none of them. You know. Glacier wouldn't hurt. I don't hate a double energy either, but 
the cost gets random, so. Kind of sucks still. I don't think I... Uh, I'll take a Sunder, but... I don't think I have enough lightning to justify a Thunder Strike. Like... Maybe I do. Maybe I do. <sighs> I'll take the glacier. Is there anything in this deck that's, like, really worthless right now? I mean, it's so big, there's got to be something that is is bogging us down. I mean, I guess I could just remove the Strike Plus, yeah. The thing is, though, I have so little damage. <laughs> we did kind of improve that situation, though. Actually, stat kind of sucks. Am I wrong? Especially with Sneko, how often am I getting stack into play? The thing is, though, I'm going to remove stack and... I don't know. Like, a turn where I get 36 block... ...out of stack... It's a, it's a huge deck, though. Like, theoretically, I should be able to get stacked to work. <laughs> In theory. It's up to you. Yeah. I'll remove the strike, I think. It just keeps showing me the Ori rewards. I think that's it, man. Well, I, I'd buy more po potions, too. An attack potion could be good. Blessing of the Forge could be good. Awaken one doesn't really do too many multi attacks, so thorns are kind of meh. This is going to be hard carried by potions, but. And we got combats left too, which is uh, tough. It's a bit tough. What's up, Retro? You are here very late, but I'm still streaming, so... Ah, we could just play the Enlightenment. Wait, no, that was stupid. <laughs> I was not thinking. I was not thinking at all, bro. What am I doing? Haha, <laughs> yeah, just play Enlightenment. Well, here we go. One cost Sunder is pretty good. Currently taking 28 per turn. Cool. A three cost defend really helps with that. Thanks, Spire. We are now nearly fully blocking this. We are fully blocking it. Now we're taking one damage. Just 
doing damage, I think, is important. Uh, no. The fuck are these? Okay, now enlightenment costs zero. Much better. <laughs> uh. Is this killable? This is my only attack, so no. I don't really know why I took that consume. I'm not sure what I envisioned myself doing with it. Huge energy turn, at least. Actually, getting this self-repair into play would be nice here. This- this kills. Yes, it does. Well, there's the value for the, uh... For the lightning strike. <laughs> Huge energy. Motherfucker. <laughs> Can I at least just, like, draw better this time? Bias Cog's good for this fight. I've been saying it. Many people are saying it. Do I mean, honestly, I may just hologram go for the eyes. I know it doesn't make him weaker. This gets us most of the way there. And then we can force field the rest, pretty much. Or... <laughs> or... Uh... I don't think I want to multicast this. This is a much better fight with the transient than last time, already. And it's not even over yet. Especially the way I'm drawing, though. Sheesh. Eh, okay. I ended up taking a little more damage there than I thought I would. I didn't feel like doing the math on how much that, uh... Um... Lock-on got me. Huge. A few free cards here. Bias Cog is good. Force Field is free. Sunder. Streamline. Defrag. Shout out to the time I got this fuck to zero damage every turn and then got killed by Time Eater. It sounds- that sounds like an ironclad moment. Am I wrong? Or shivs, yeah, actually. Sometimes I feel like I just do, like, one attack does, uh, ironclad Sneko, yeah. I can see it. I mean, I think multicast just gets us all the way there. Yeah, I've actually done quite a lot of damage to him. I mean, doesn't matter, it's over. So we'll get her. Yeah, I'll take a flex potion. 
Pin asunder. Why not, dude? Why not? This is about the best thing this could have been, I think. At this point in Act 3, this is about the best thing it could have been. Thing is, the hand do be still sucking a little bit. Bummer. At least I'm fully blocking that attack. This is not my Sneko experience. The Sneko giveth and the Sneko taketh away. I knew that to be true, and I still picked it. Um, I could just melter this fuck and kill him. It'd be really funny. This guy might explode, though. But I think it's worth it. That's a three-cost bullseye, which is a little... little yucky. Alright, he is exploding this turn, but we... I think we can kill this turn. Yeah. I can still play Doom and Gloom. Glad I grabbed that. I am kind of relicked out of my mind. This is true. Easy fight. Ooh. I think I like a focus over a flex. This is... Pretty damn good crop of cards here. I'll take an aggregate plus. Wish lock on worked to make the orb target the locked on. I know. I've always felt that way. In fact, it feels very strange that it doesn't. Man, I feel like with a huge deck, a recycle could actually be really good. Problem is just Sneko, man. If it randoms to anything other than just one or zero cost, it's it's fucking worthless. <laughs> well, that's not exactly true, because it'll gain the equivalent of whatever Sneko gives us. I'm taking it. Screw it. Yuck. Okay, we want Electro into play. This might already be time for a couple potions here. Aggregate gives us... Yeah, it definitely gives us energy. Lots of it, in fact. That That's worth it. Like, I don't even care that it's Awakened One. <laughs> that is... We just need to get these guys dead. Play the zero cost zap and then just multicast. I mean, defending for something would be nice. It wasn't what I expected. It wasn't what I expected. Uh, I can't kill one of you, but I sure can get close. Right, well, it will kill one of you anyways, won't it? Let's kill you too. What happens if I recycle multicast? Do I get four energy? <laughs> Uh, um, good enough. You get eight? Is that true? That's actually insane. I do not want to get rid of multicast, just to be clear. Yeah, I think I want to evoke this plasma in favor of Frost.
What am I what am I doing with this though? Okay, I can do 50 to him with this Thunder Strike. Or I can draw first. Love to have that hologram to get that fucking multi cast back in my hand. What do I want to do here? I do need more block. Equilibrium gives us block, but it also retains our hand, which is a bit of a bummer with this shit show. Um, okay. We bullseye. And then maybe we just Thunderstrike? Uh... <laughs> Block as much of this as we can. Let's just charge battery instead. There's really no reason to play that. There's actually really no reason to retain any of this, so I won't play the Equilibrium. Especially because I don't need it. I think playing Enlightenment is the play here, right? That's a messed up looking dog. There is stack value, that's true. We are, uh... Not blocking all of that, but a good amount of it. Three cost enlightenment sucks. What I could do is take the energy potion here. That might be what I'll do. It's energy potion, enlightenment. I can play everything but maybe equilibrium. Am I good if I... Eh, not quite good. I guess what I don't need really is the self repair. It would be nice to just get it out of my deck though. Let's just equilibrium it instead. Oh. Oh, I wanted to play two Sunders, but I didn't. And I also just gave him strength, which kind of sucks. <laughs> I keep I keep forgetting it's uh it's awakened one. Wow, does all for one synergize with Sneko? I suppose it might, huh? Turns out retaining all those powers was a bad idea, because what the fuck am I going to do with them? I could have Sundered for the pen nib turn. I don't know if I want to get rid of that yet. This is still positive energy. There is nothing in here I particularly need to draw, huh? Some block would be nice, though. You kind of got that. Go for the eyes as a block card, is it not? Maybe you should have played that first. Buffer. Yeah, this is going well. Almost shockingly so. Saving buffer for phase two, but it's nice to have. Am I ready to evoke this plasma? I'm gonna rebound cold snap, I think. Charge. Pile driver. Right, cold snap. Cold snap. Defend. 
I'll just keep taking force fields. Eventually, they'll be free. <laughs> Eventually, they'll all be free, which is great. You'll love to see it. This is 50. It does indeed kill the bird dog. We could also just overkill him by doing this. <laughs> Good enough. Nothing much more I can do here. Time to play all my powers. Hello! But what about second meteor strike? They haven't heard of second meteor strike. This is very positive. <laughs> it's zero cost! Huh? <laughs> this is a thing of beauty. This is, a, this is a thing of extreme beauty right here. <laughs> well, yeah, don't mind if I do. We aggregate just for funsies. Just because I'm feeling a little silly. We loop for that extra energy next turn. We're going to go crazy next turn. Force field gives us damn near full block. We should play the streamline, I think. I can take three damage just to get that streamline in play. <clears throat> Yikes. Lots of damage here. Oh, it didn't draw the... I guess my hand was full. That's a bummer. Uh, okay. New plan. You know which cards you get back from all for one? It goes top to bottom, left to right. Also, yes, hand was full. I guess I just didn't realize I had that many zero cost cards in my uh in my discard pile. Ah, this is a pen nib turn, so Melter wouldn't wouldn't hurt. Um, I need to start getting more block. I think that's fully blocked, and I got the buffer in. I actually like the sound of the fission here, but again, random cost could be problematic. I think we can skip, actually. Do, 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 do. Stack, baby! Coming in clutch, just like I always knew it would. <laughs> uh. Actually, pretty good value out of a lock-on here. He is locked on, actually, already, but we could extend it by three turns. That's all, though. What does lock on do? More damage from orbs. Yeah, it's kind of it's one of those weird mechanics that is like kind of half baked <laughs> a little bit. Uh actually Tempest is maybe a little bit zany and wacky. The void sucks. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, just like pressure points. That's exactly what I was thinking of. 
the thing is, though, actually, <laughs> um, I should at least block first. Let's go! <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. What a silly, goofy-ass run. At no point did I ever feel like I had a strong deck. I just kind of thought eventually I'll die, and I just never did. There we go. That is my t defect of all characters. My first character to make it to Ascension 10. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't do a prediction on that. Shit, I really should have. I didn't think my odds were very good, honestly. Hey, I don't feel too bad about that, though. That was, uh... The, uh felt like I was playing defect from behind. Like, like, I was not ever comfortable with that run. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm calling it at that. It was silly. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the whole stream. This is actually pretty damn fun. Um, if I don't do this exact thing again, I may well um, do different variations of it in the future.